There is great power in an idea. Haas going for the goal here. He's got it! World record for This particular Haas. idea is Olympian, both in its genesis and in its scope. A single man, Johann Olaf Koss, found a way to use his Olympic triumphs to bring the uplifting spirit of sport into some of the most troubled places on Earth. When the children first arrived here, they were all traumatized. It's very uh, tragic to meet children who just weeks and months ago had to run away from their homes with nothing. To come to a settlement because of fear of being killed. Some of them have lost their family members. I get very, very emotional and upset when I see this. And I want to show that we are caring for them. One, two, and three. The idea was to change the world with a ball. We were playing, they were singing, they were jumping. It was such a touching moment for us. Some of these girls had never, ever hit a ball before. And when the ball would come towards them, they, you know, they were just wincing, and uh, they just never had an opportunity to kick or hit a ball before. There's so much to be done. We need to find medicines. We are so, there's lack of so much, and why support? But then, when you actually introduce it, you realize, you see how it is. I have seen the value of play. I mean, play for young children is really learning. Children don't develop properly unless they play. <laughs> play is not a luxury. Play is a right for children. Dozens of other Olympians, hundreds of staffers, and thousands of volunteers have joined the cause. From Joey Cheek to Lance Armstrong, from Wayne Gretzky to Sean White, all kinds of athletes have carried the torch to help right to play. Freckles. Yeah, the difference? <laughs> uh, that's cool. A little different. It's a big world, and every destination presents a unique challenge. In Lebanon, girls aren't allowed to run in front of boys, and so they've always been excluded from games. Right to Play has helped change the culture a tiny bit at a time. قبل ما نعمل رايت تو بلاي ماما كانت تفيقني انه هيك اقوم انه نعسان وهيك مش عبالي اقوم وانه نكون نعسان وبالبرد بس صار انا رايت تو بلاي صرت اقوم انا لحالي وهيك وبحب العبها وهي لعبه كثير وبتسلي وحلوه كثير. Right to play is based on peace and cooperation, on resolving conflict through play. An unforgettable lesson was taught by Israeli and Palestinian kids who played soccer together as teammates. A team who put aside their differences and united for a simple mission, to play. Right to play goals is in addition to having fun and playing, of course, is that they really learn through the games. I don't want to teach you about the game. I teach you from to your horse how to be good, how to listen to your parent, and how to pay attention to your legs. You have to study high. The games have evolved and now they also teach fundamental lessons about things like cleanliness and disease. We are in 23 countries, we want to be in 30 countries in, in some years and expanding it based on the success of the model we have been implementing so far. It's been 17 years since Johan Koss's Olympic dream, and this year will mark Right to Play's 10th anniversary. And in countless ways, big and small, he has helped us all to see that when children play, the world wins.